Over there! <laughs> remnants of a degenerate old culture. Back the fuck off, all right? You don't need trouble. Just walk away and pretend you didn't find me, okay? You're the one in trouble. And you came here to talk, did you? You want me to talk? Well, how's this for talk? Go fuck yourself. 
Why are you hanging around outside Goliad? What? I can't stand here? You gonna hassle someone for just standing here? What are you, a fucking owl? So what do you want? How is life as an outlaw? Total, unmitigated, and relentless fucking joy. I mean, look at me. Who wouldn't want to be stuck out here waiting to get eaten by raptors? You're not happy being an outlaw? You know, at least it was my own stupid, shitty decision to be out here. Those poor, dumb pricks up there? They come out here to get eaten by raptors because some other dumb prick tells them to. If there's one thing I've learned, if you're gonna end up in this shit, it's better to make that shit yourself, rather than roll around in someone else's. What are you doing here? I'm waiting on your mom. What do you think I'm doing? I'm trying to find some shit that's worth selling. You even know how much tech they have stashed in their pit? They actually throw all that shit away. But while I know that, it's not like I can hang about up there in Goliath to try and get it. Those tree shaggers get funny about outlaws. Sometimes they bar you from the town for no reason. You're barred from Goliath? Not barred as such. More like forbidden entry on pain of death. I just took some shit, that's all. It's not like they were even using it. Like I said, they throw all sorts of valuable shit into that pit of theirs. So I'm here to collect it and put it to use. Are you waiting around for Ornir? Maybe, might be. There's a chance I know a little shit by that name. He sent me to find you. So who are you? The Aram boy? What, he's got so rich trading with me that he's got servants now? I'm here to kill you. What the fuck? That little shit. Listen, you go to him and get that dickhead to start trading again. Tell him, tell Ornia I want the shit he promised me. What shit? The shit. The technology Ornia owes me. The prime pieces from the pit. Well, prime is stretching the description, but it's a good arrangement. The berserkers get rid of the tech they don't want. Ornia gets shards he does want, leaving the question, what do you want? Well, there's a face I haven't seen before. Newcomer, aren't you? You have a problem with new faces? Problem? Me? Oh, I never have problems, only solutions. And I reckon we can solve problems for each other. What problems? Of the financial kind. The kind where I've got money I'm just looking to give away, and you have empty pockets to fill. I'm listening. I'll bet. You look like the listening kind. Except maybe being impaled up the unmentionables with a hot, rusty poker. But, and I'm getting to the point, here's me, right? A loyal and honest berserker, someone who knows what's right, what's legal, and what's not. Then, there's a newcomer like you. Well, any newcomer has the potential to make honest mistakes when it comes to legalities. And if you did, then I, as an honest berserker, could help put such mistakes right in a way that earns us both elixir. Why should I trust you? Cause I'm a hooded crow, not one of your rule-making Eisen clan. Not a wannabe hammer clan. I'm a good, honest, straight-talking hooded crow. Clans? The Hammer Clan, the Eisen Clan, and the Clan of the Hooded Crows. That's your Berserkers. 
So, if you were to get your hands on rare, legally questionable items, I could, being a loyal berserker, take that trouble off your hands. Rare items? Rare is where the Alexit is. You can spend your life dreaming of Alexit, or spend your Alexit living your dreams. Your choice. You're looking for rare items? I help people with problems. When someone discovers rare items that are legally questionable, I solve this problem without the need to take up the time of our busy official authorities. No fuss, no overstretching our legal authorities. It's much better for everyone. And all for the right price. I just do as any honest, loyal, law-abiding, practical berserker should do. About these rarities. Yes. What's the catch? Catch? What catch? You'll earn a handsome amount of elixir. Where's the catch in that? Do you take me for stupid? No, no. Stupid would only cause me trouble. Who wants stupid? Smart is what I need. Smart knows how to keep everyone happy. Smart knows how to keep the law in perspective and turn a healthy profit. And I can see you're smart. Can you get a hold of Alp technology? Alptech is far, far too hot and Goliath, my friend. I'm a brave man, but no outlaw, no reaver. I mean, just the other day, I met a bounty hunter who was trying to track down an outlaw over something. Trust me, you want to stay away from that life and that merchandise. Exactly what goods are you looking for? Me? I don't want anything. But I might know a few people in need of mature healing roots. Born the Cultivator knows where they grow. And if you could persuade him to let you harvest them, then maybe I could persuade someone to give you Alexit for them. And if I just give the roots to Born? You could. You could. But then Born's not going to be as financially grateful as me. Meaning he'll pay you less if I have to spell it out. Do you need any other items? Well, there is something that needs acquiring and redistributing. You know the pit, right? Yes. Well, you're a... The guy in charge there needs help collecting things with Alexit in them. And here's you looking to be helpful. So, how about you help collect that stuff for him, then accidentally lose it on the way back? You want me to bring you things with Elix in them? Well, truth be told, Yora really doesn't like that stuff. And I know people who love it. So, it would be winners all around. Any more rare items you're interested in? You've noticed the Mana Shrine, right? Big building in the middle of Goliath? Yes. Well, it just so happens that building contains all the elix they use to make mana. And mana is magic in whoever's hands hold it. I'm telling you, elix can make profits appear out of nowhere. All you have to do is make it disappear from under Caldrum's nose. Anything else you're looking for? Not right now. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. What's the rarest item you're looking for? Well, there is one thing, but it's a bit special. Tell me about it. Well, if you're sure, once we talk about this, you'll be committed. It's all about trust on this one. Just tell me. Well, you see, Ragnar, one of the big bosses here, has something of particular interest to me. A family heirloom. Eric Eisenfaust's sword. Who is Eric Eisenfaust? You've got to have heard of him. He was one of the greatest warriors ever to fight for the Berserkers. 
Eisenfaust is a legend here. Kids worship him. Warriors want to be him. Not Ragnar's either. Who knows how he got the sword, but it wasn't legitimate, trust me. Some say Eisenfaust was the real founder of the Berserkers, that he took Amrek's dreams and made them real. They say that 50 years ago, Eisenfaust destroyed an entire army of the cleric's fighting machines using just this sword. Load of Ald Hui, of course, but even so, with his name on the sword, it's almost priceless. Almost. I'll give you a reasonably sized stack of Alexit for it. Wanna buy some cleric's weapons? Are you crazy? That's way too hot for me to handle. You get caught with those, and you can dig your own grave, and a grave for anyone connected to you. My advice, you get rid of that stuff as fast as you can. And take this to help you remember. If anyone asks, I never heard of any weapons, right? I'll get you, Eisenfaust Sword. Your skills, my needs. What a beautiful business we do together. But be careful, yeah? Ragnar's not gonna want to part with that sword willingly. I'll get it for you. Then your reward will be waiting for you. About yeah. What items do you trade? Trade? No, no, that would be illegal. No, no, I don't trade. I run a sort of lottery. One where you pay me for a chance to win the item of your choice. I have to gamble? You could say that. But once you offer the right price, the odds are you'll always be a winner. I only have a limited selection. We are in Goliath, and the laws make a lot of items illegal. Well, you know what they say. One man's forbidden is another man's profit. Of course, as a loyal and honest berserker, you won't catch me saying things like that. I want all... Talk, that's all he is. Ah, nobody listens to me. Got it. That technology will get you into trouble here. That's not any use to me now. I found the outlaw. Is he dead? No. I talked to him. Talked? Why did you talk? What did he say? He wants you to start trading with him again. Trading? What, what trading? What, what are you talking about? If I was trading, that would be against the law. I mean, I'd be a dead man. About the outlaw. What? Why did you stop trading with him? I wasn't trading. Trading would be illegal. Elix technology is forbidden. Trading without a license is forbidden. Trading with people outside Goliath is forbidden. Anyway, I mean, that stuff was junk. I wasn't doing any harm. And Angram is monitoring the Elix oscillations in the area. You should put that away. Technology will get you into trouble here.
What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. Are things really that bad in Goliath? That depends who you ask. I'm sure there are some who don't notice how hard it is for everyone at the bottom of the pile. It sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Isen Clan, promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned, and then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorold returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. But then, why should you care if our warlords don't? Can I help? You? Well, I'm not one to turn down that sort of offer. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. But let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Can you tell Angrim that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. It sounds like these supply problems are getting you down. No guards for escorting the supplies here or to distribute them afterwards. Outlaws and clerics stealing some of what we do send. Yes, it's not just you. I had my armor stolen by an outlaw. Outlaws. The one thing you can trust them to do is to steal things. And you know where they take the things they've stolen? Well, if they're true outlaws, there is only one place they'll take them. Straight to Tavar and a share of the profit. Interesting to know. Where can I find this Master Thorold? The Pilgrim has been gone for so long, I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. He left. All we know is that his leaving had something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly... I don't think anyone knows. I will speak to Engram for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best. But we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. Teach me something. Of course. Look around. Tell me what you need. I will harvest the healing roots. Good, good. I would be very grateful. We all would. If you can make sure you pick the mature roots, those are the only ones with healing properties. Where can I find the healing roots? They grow in small clusters around the lake above Goliath. They can be easy to overlook, so you may need to search for them a little. Why don't you plant healing roots near the seedling fields? they'd be easier to defend. We've talked about it, and the growing conditions are right there. You're right. 
We should stop talking and make it happen. As soon as the next seedling harvest is in, we'll make that happen. Thanks for reminding me. Damn technology! Take it to the pit! Another damned outsider. We ought to lock you up until we can ship you back to where you came from. You have a problem with outsiders? Can you think of one problem on Magalon that isn't down to outsiders? The clerics gave us the owl. The Albs come here building their filthy converters. They foul our soil, kill our people. The only thing stopping these bastards, killing every last one of the free people, are the hooded crows. Why do you hate the Albs so much? They take so much Elex, they've lost all their emotion. They're like machines. Killing machines. How messed up must you be to decide to do that? And how do they get the Elex they're so pumped up on? They tear it from the ground. They take plants, animals, and people, and feed them into their converters. Every alb, every mutant, stands against nature. So you don't trust anyone. Our Founding Fathers knew well that you have to be really careful who you trust. They taught us we cannot give in to the temptation that awaits us outside our walls. And they did well. In the end, they were the first to see the deviant nature of technology. No one who has seen a mutant with their own eyes can deny that. Teach me. Yes. It almost sounds like you envy the Alb's power. Pah. <laughs> A fully trained Alb commander. Even an Elexator. They may be powerful, but true power is only found in the will to win and the fighting spirit. Have you got them? A fighting spirit? A will to win. What if I did? And I took Elix as well. Then you would be just another henchman. A soulless puppet for their cause. Is that what you want? To destroy Magalan as you destroy your soul? A strong sword. Our very effective combat magic. And a strong will. Those will save the world. They will stop the Alps. Sounds like you really hate the Alps. They won't stop until everyone is dead. It's always us berserkers who are taking losses. Ten hooded crows on the last patrol alone. All good men. Now I'm asked to make up my ranks with outsiders? You want to kill Albs? I want to exterminate them. And every man, woman, and child on this planet should want to do the same. 
What about you? Are you ready to go and hunt some albs? Tell me the mission. Very well. The Albs have been scouting ruins to the west of here. It could be they're searching for resources, but it could be they're scouting our patrol routes, or looking for somewhere to set up a base they can use to launch an attack on Goliath. Whatever they're doing, those Albs have had a free run of things for too long. I need someone to head out there and kill them. Where are these ruins? To the west, in the Valley of the Damned. The Albs have been spotted in some abandoned ruins out there. It could be they've made those ruins their base, and are sending out patrols across the area from there. We've had reports of Albs on the roads around there, and out along the river by the World Heart. George said I passed the test. You have. I am impressed. Most people complete their tasks without thinking. You have shown insight. A rare quality that should be rewarded, as long as you prove to be honest in the future. Cinda sent me. Cinda? Is there another problem with food supplies? She hasn't received the resupply she needs, and nobody seems to know when she will. Didn't Jora sort this out? Or has his failure to fix things become my problem? What does Yora have to do with this? Jora was supposed to have sorted this out. Once more, it comes back to me to resolve this directly. Then, there won't be any more escorts for the deliveries. The last group I sent were killed by a troll. We haven't more men to lose that way. Then you're right. You should avoid that area. Finally, someone who draws the right conclusions. It's easy to talk of killing a troll, but I am responsible for the lives of the men I asked to do it. If ever there was a way to get people killed needlessly, then sending them against a troll is it. I'll not send more men to their deaths. We have scant enough as it is. Cinda will have to deal with this problem herself. Tell her it is time she called on one of the other clans for help. The Isen clan will no longer risk lives for fish and meat. spoke to Angram. Oh, great, thank you. Someone who is prepared to do something. When will the deliveries come? They won't. The men Angram sent to the valley are dead. And is he going to send more? No, wait. Let me guess. We don't have warriors to spare chasing farmers. How does he expect me to get supplies if he can't? He's got a host of warriors he can assign. I'm one person behind a counter. I could go for you. You? Well, I, I appreciate the offer, but if his men were killed, I can't ask you to go alone. Besides, it's not one delivery I need. It's regular supplies, and a lot of them. If the Isen clan won't help, one of the others will have to. Would you speak to Ragnar, Warlord of the Hooded Crows, or Cormag of the Hammer clan? I'll have to hope that one of them can understand why this is so important. Stop messing around with that.
Hello. If you want to rest, you should find yourself a spot and relax. And if you are hungry, we can surely find you something to eat. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you have been shown kindness here. To foreigners, it may seem that we only live in a manner that is in accordance with the law. But we have a place for any wanderers and lost souls who are ready to swear off their old lives. So, wherever you came from, your help is welcome. What's the point in us seeking to rebuild the world if we continue fighting? We need to build one world, together. I hope you can see that. What is this building? A rare relic of the old world, hey? If you want, go up to one of the higher balconies and have a look at the view. You will get an idea how beautiful it must have been here before the comet struck. It seems the people of the old world understood the value of that even back before the Great Fall. Why do you build these huts then? This place might be a good choice for defense, but it doesn't exactly connect us with nature. We all need to be rooted in the natural world. We all need to remember our place in it. You, me, all the people here, we are all part of Magalan. How long have you been with the Berserkers? I was born here, and I can't imagine a better place. If you say so. We have organized our lives around the essential things in life. You do not need everything you think you need. I could get used to life here. Good. Good. I would wish that for you. You will find safety here, and purpose. Ragnar will help you find your place. He can sound severe, I know, but there are pressures on him, and he wants the best for us. Tell me about Ragnar. Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is warlord of the Hooded Crows. Warlord, warrior, leader, and my husband. You're married? Why would I marry someone whose expression is that of thunder over the mountains? That is when he is carrying the weight of his clan. Then he is a warlord. I married the man. How did Ragnar become warlord? Hard work, dedication, and popularity. Tell me the real story. Do you mean, is there a deep, dark secret? A tale of rivalry and assassination to rise to the top? No, I'm afraid it's a tale of skill, ability, and dedication. He was named Berserker when he was a teen served his time in the fields as a cultivator. He was seen defending the seedlings from mutants and was named Warrior on the spot. When he was a child, Ragnar met Eisenfaust, and I think that left its mark. He wanted to be that man, and he is, just with more of a sense of humor. In their hour of need, the Berserkers call for another Eisenfaust, and in Ragnar, I believe they have him. Is there something you need doing here? There are always things that need doing here, and helping out will gain you notice for promotion. Of course, for the highest ranks, we must all look to the warlords to be promoted. Ask in Goliath, and you'll find tasks to match your skills, but uh, there is one thing I need help with. Though, I warn you, it could be dangerous. Tell me the task. I can handle it. Confident without the details. You'll get on well with the warriors here. Our scouts reported that a few clerics were recently attacked by mutants. Let's just say that despite all their technology, the clerics came off worse. But the weapons they left behind, lying about out there, are a problem. They could cause a great deal of damage in the wrong hands. I want you to collect them and take them to Yora. You'll find him at the pit. He and the workers there make sure such technology is made safe. Why didn't your patrol bring the weapons back? 
There were too many mutants. The cleric seemed to have stirred them up and had half the mutants in the area after them. The area is quieter now, but Ragnar has had to assign the warriors from the patrol to other tasks. That's why I hope you can go. I will find the weapons. Thank you. The sooner we can put them into the right hands, the better. Elex, mutants, technology. We have a long way to go to save Magalan. I have secured the weapons from the ruins. That is good news. Please take them to Yora and arrange for their disposal. Cinder sent me here. Further problems with the supply run? The Warlords discussed this, and the Isen Clan promised to see to the deliveries. The Isen Clan are refusing to help. Then you should speak to Angram. He guaranteed the supplies. If you can't persuade him, then try Cormag. He agreed to cover any problems that Angram could not. I know why Elder is angry. So he told you why he was making trouble? Orin has barred the Hammer Clan from the tavern. And the only thing that stops men complaining faster than an empty stomach is an empty flagon. You seem to have a gift for getting people to talk. I want you to use that gift and find a way to persuade Orin to lift his ban. I will see what Angram knows about this. If the Isen Clan are allowed into that tavern, then the Hammer Clan must be too. Cinda needs your help. More trouble with the supplies? What can I do to help? She needs people to collect the food deliveries. I thought Angram had sent men to do that. The men he sent are dead. They were attacked by a troll. And more will die if our men aren't fed. Still, if Angram is worried about sending men, then there must be a real danger. I will send men to help Cinda. But if they're to go out there, then I want to improve their odds of survival. We recently captured some movement detectors from the clerics. They're being stored in the pit, ready for the Elix to be taken out of them. Get me one of those movement detectors, and I will give Cinder the help she wants. Isn't taking technology from the pit against the law? Sometimes, laws must be broken for problems to be fixed. Get me that detector, and I will help Cinder. Those are my terms. I have the movement detector you wanted. Excellent work. Now my men stand a chance of seeing danger before they walk into it. Tell Cinder she can count on the support of the Hammer Clan. I will tell the men to be ready. You know technology is forbidden by law here. supplies. They will? You convince Cormac to help? Yes. Oh, you don't know what a relief that is. I was going crazy here. The least I can do is offer you some Alexit as thanks for your help. Give me what you think is fair. Well, the Isen clan were due two payments. I guess they won't be claiming them now. There was 250 for the first, the same again for the second, so you get 500 Alexit. Stop messing around with that technology. The number of rooms. Do you think this was a palace or a 
a breeding station. Whatever it was in the old world, it's a nest for rats now. But a strong one. Attacking it would be costly.
We shouldn't run into any albs here. Be I harvested the healing roots. Thank you. I will make sure Ragnar knows of your good work. You see, these fields do grow more than plants. He always thought he could talk his way around anyone. If even half of that is true... I have some cleric weapons for you. 